Oh guys, welcome to another dual universe video. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say a uh, huge thanks for all the support and the last video that was amazing. Uh, we got some amazing uh, comments, feedback. Some of that feedback ended up being uh, updates to the scripts uh, for the um, ore monitor. So if you haven't checked that out, uh, make sure you stop by and check that. Uh, but yeah, thanks again, man. That was uh, that was pretty awesome of you guys. So thank you. Today we're gonna talk about a smart home so i said this very basic um room or base or home whatever you want to call it um and as you can see there's nothing going on however as we get closer to the house we have a nice uh get out of my house sign unless you have tacos of course uh lights come on and as we take a couple of steps forward you know notice the door opens up for us once we come in, lights are on, door closes behind us. Uh, once we come in here, we see the TV is already on. Uh, in here, we have another uh, another screen. Uh, all this laid down and take a look. There you go, just do it. Nice little morning motivation. So, and all the lights in uh, throughout the house are, are turned on automatically. So what's making that happen? and you know walk close to this uh closet nice and hidden um so this is where the magic's happening so we have a programming board a switch two relays detection zone detection zone and actually oh i already opened this up so we have another detection zone here which you can easily hide like that i want to see it um but Sure, for now so we can talk about some of the stuff so yep that, that's that's what's making all this happen right so let's start talking about uh from the beginning what opens and closes the door so we have here a detection zone extra small and we haven't used one of these um it's simply you can toggle this show hide uh, for the bubble you can see where it is and then you can just hide it so it, it, it seems uh seamless so the moment a player comes into this little bubble, he detects it and he does, he sends an on off signal to whatever is hooked up uh, to. So in this case, all we have is a simple, simple linkage to uh, the door right here. So that's it. That's, that's the magic behind that. So pretty straightforward. We'll hide that. Next, let's take a look at this uh, detection zone. So this is a detection zone large. So if we show it, we have to kind of come outside for you guys to see it. As you can see, this is a pretty big uh, detection zone. So anytime someone approaches the house, um, the whole thing turns on and we'll see what that is linked to. Um, we left a little corner here uncovered so that we can uh, hide in there and essentially Pretend like we're leaving the house and so we can see from the inside how things turn on and off um, in a little bit. So let's come back in here. Oh, 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 oh. All right. So that detection zone is connected to the programming board here inside the house. So as soon as we approach the house, this picks us up, sends a uh, on signal to the programming board. The programming board is going to start. And then we have uh, this link here that goes straight to the switch. So this sends a on signal to the switch to activate. This gets passed to this relay. And we have one more link to the second relay. And that is only just because I have way too many lights. So if you want to add even more lights, you would need a couple more or however, however you need. All you have to do is just link it to the first relay. Just keep passing that uh, signal on. Um, along then we have a link to each one of the screens so one here one there and then the one that goes through here up to the uh you better have taco sign and that's that's pretty much it so that's the whole setup um as always the code is available in github and the link is uh in the description and it has a brief explanation on how to set this up if not just come back and watch this over and over until you get it right but let's take a look at what's inside here. So I'm going to do Control-L uh, to go into the Lua scripts. 
So make sure when you hook this up, these links need to match. Um, the code will automatically create these, but you have to make sure that you link them to the correct um, elements. And then uh, there's nothing here. All, ma all the magic is happening right here. So when we turn off the board, we're simply deactivating the, uh, the screen in the living room, the screen in the bedroom, the screen in the front door, and then we turn off the switch. Pretty straightforward. When we're starting, we're turning on everything. We're activating everything. And then we're setting up uh, HTML for the front door, for the bedroom, for the living room. I left you guys some stuff in there um, for you guys to check out. And that's that's it. So essentially, when you walk in, those zones are going to pick up. I'm going to open the doors for you. I'm going to turn on the lights. And I'm going to turn on the programming board. So as soon as that gets started, um, all this, uh, this script and the start um, filter will activate, which is going to turn everything on we'll set um some basic html so this is something that you, can, you can easily um change the you know mikasa sukasa or welcome or uh no soliciting whatever you want to put in here um you can just change the text in here you can change the font size um you can get more creative if you want to add colors or add images or whatever you want to do um so this is very easy to reconfigure uh, to fit your needs. If you need to add more lights, again, just add more uh, relays. If you need to add more screens, just connect them here, um, or you can remove stuff. This detection zone, we didn't show it, but this only can, is, is set up here so that when you approach the closet, it opens up the door. So same thing as the front door, pretty pretty simple. You can toggle that on and off again. If you left, if you leave this on, all the people can see the bubble. Like It's not like it's only for you to see. Anyone can see it. So. That might be something that you can also set up for decoration kind of looks like a hologram of sorts so yeah that's that's pretty much it pretty easy easy peasy uh video this time not as uh complicated as the last one uh, again you can toggle this off oh yeah we said we we're gonna check this out from the inside so um if we hide here we see that the lights turn off we walk in here everything turns on so same thing as the outside but I'm sure you guys do see that everything in the inside is turning on and off. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, again, a huge thank you for all the support in the last video and catch you in the game.